All right. So we have a theorem that says through a point not on a line, there is one and only one line given to the per or parallel to the given line. You can't have more than one line parallel <laughs> to a line that goes through a point. There's only one. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, we have two parallel lines here. And we have a point here. And we draw two lines down here. They're not going to be parallel, are they? What did I just draw? A what? Triangle. Angles 1, 2, and 3 add up to how much? If these lines are parallel, what do we know about angles 1 and 4? They're alternate interior angles, so they are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. 1 and 4 are congruent. What do I know about angles 3 and 5? They're alternate interior angles, so they are congruent, right? So if I replace angle 1 with angle 3, and I replace, whoop, if I replace angle 1 with angle 4, and I replace angle 3 with angle 5, what do they add up to? 180. Okay, 180. Which proves that in a triangle, all the angles always are going to add up to what? 180 degrees. Which is right here. Angles 1, 2, and 3 are always going to add up to 180. No matter what you do with your angles, they're always, always, always going to add up to 180 degrees. Okay? All triangles, the angles add up to 180 degrees. All right. Now, I don't know what happened here. Something moved on top of something. Slide this back down. There we go. All right, so let's figure out X and Y here. Okay? Um, how big is angle X? Well, what's 32 plus 78? 110. How many degrees are in triangle? 180. So what's left for X? 70 degrees. How can I figure out angle Y? Well, is this a straight line? So this is 78. What's left on the other half of the straight line? 100, not quite. 102. Okay, 102. What's 32 plus 70? 102. These two add up to be this one, doesn't it? Because there's 180 inside of here, so if this is 78, this has to be 102. So what's left over after the 78 is 102. These two are what's le left over after 78, so they add up to 102. So notice how that works. Okay, the exterior angle theorem. The angle on the outside is going to add up to these two angles. And you go, well, why is that? Well, if the angle's on the outside, a straight line makes 180, right? And the inside of a triangle makes 180. So if you use up 60 here, there's 120 left over for these two. If you use up 60 here, there's 120 on this side. So this is always going to equal what these two add up to. Okay, how big is angle one then? Do we have to figure out what this angle is? The answer is no. We just add up these two. What's 45 and 75 add up to? 120. Those add up to 120. So what's left for this one? Well, 60. Now for the hard one. 
What are all these angles? <clears throat> well, yesterday I was really having a difficult time with this until I figured out that in the in the instructions this is parallel to this. Once I figured out that, then angle two we figure out is 55 degrees. So if angle two is 55 degrees, then I can figure out other things, okay? Such as, um, okay, this whole triangle, if it has 45 on each of the corners, this whole thing equals 90, okay? Um, if this is 55, um, I can figure out, oh, this triangle down here, there where we are, what's 45 and 55 add up to? 45 and 55, 100, so angle 5 is 80, which makes this angle 100 right here. So if this is 100, this is 80. So in this triangle up here, this is 80, and this is 55, which makes this angle right here 45. So if this is a straight line, 45 and 75 add up to 120, which makes this one 60. What's 100 plus 60? 160. What's left for angle 1? 20, because there's 180 degrees in a triangle. If this is 60, what's left for angle 4? Because it's a linear pair. 120. If this is 120 and this is 45, that's 165, which leaves 15 left for this one. And I just figured out what 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 were. Just by process of elimination. Okay? You start finding angles and you go from there. Okay? So... Now we should be all able to do this. To find x, what is the method? Okay, what do you do to find x, Lilith? You know that there are how many degrees in a triangle? 180. So if there's 180 degrees in a triangle, what do you do with these two? Add them up. So they add up to 77. So what's left for x? Well, you take 180 minus 77, which is 103. To figure out what Y is, it's part of this green triangle here. Okay? These two up here add up to 59. This one's 54. An exterior angle equals the sum of the two remote interior angles, the two interior angles that do not touch it. What's 59 plus 54 equal? 59 plus 54. Evie? 113. So angle Y must be 113. Exterior angle, interior angle. Sums of triangles. Okay. This is pretty basic, okay? Interior angles of triangles all add up to 